singer, songwriter, producer, director, fashion designer, activist, mother, and so much more. It's no exaggeration to say that Beyonce runs the world. And I hopefully can inspire other women to continue to write and produce their own songs and direct their videos and have their brands that's really them. Beyonce Knowles was born in Houston on September 4th, 1981. Her mom, Tina, was a hairstylist. Her father, Matthew, a Xerox sales representative. My daddy, Alabama. Mama, Louisiana. As a child, she loved to sing. And at just seven, she won her first talent show. Tell me the love that it must be. She started performing with three of her friends. Nine years later, they signed with Columbia Records. The group, known as Destiny's Child, will go on to sell over 40 million records, with empowering hits like Independent Women and Survivor. Oh gosh, I can't believe we're winning a Grammy, ladies. <laughs> Beyonce made her solo album debut in 2003 with Dangerously in Love, which reached multi-platinum status and earned her five more Grammys, including one for Crazy in Love, which she recorded with her future husband, Jay-Z. The couple married in 2008, the same year Beyonce released Single Ladies, which spawned a number of parody videos. Her star only continued to rise, and in 2009 she performed at Barack Obama's historic inauguration. Can you feel it? Stand up, sing with me. Despite her outward success, there was trouble behind the scenes. In 2014, a leaked video showed an altercation between her sister Solange and Jay-Z in an elevator, fueling rumors of his infidelity. In response, Beyonce did what she does best. She made Lemonade, a visual album, to address the allegations and explore themes of black femininity and empowerment. I just might be a black Bill Gates <laughs> in a make I see it. it. I want it. She's a fierce advocate for people of color. Her Super Bowl performance was a powerful show of support for Black Lives Matter. And for the September issue of Vogue, she chose 23-year-old Tyler Mitchell to photograph her, the first black photographer to shoot the cover of the American magazine. She released Black is King, a visual album and companion to The Lion King that celebrates African culture an artist and activist who's changing the way the world views women and women of color. It's no wonder she's known simply as Queen Bee.